Hey future millionaires, my name is Isabella. I am the owner of two six-figure earning online businesses. And today I'm gonna to be giving you a full tutorial of how to start your own Shopify store step-by-step. Step. And no, this is not sponsored at all by Shopify. You guys requested that I make a new tutorial of showing how to build a Shopify store. And I thought this would be perfect. I've been doing e-commerce for the past 10 years and I have tried a lot of different website hosts. Shopify is obviously the most popular one for a reason. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create your own online store step-by-step step so you don't have to pay anybody to do it for you. People are really out here charging thousands of dollars to build a store for you. And I promise you, it's much more simple than you may think, even as a beginner. You guys already know my YouTube channel is your number one source for 100% free education and courses. All I ask in return for the free education is just hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to create free courses and videos just like this. Not only will I be showing you how to create a beautiful Shopify store, step by step, but I will also be showing you how to get a custom domain and connect it to your online store. And make sure you watch all the way till the end of this video because I packed this video with tons of tips so you guys can succeed with your online store. This tutorial will work for you whether you are selling a physical product, if you're doing drop shipping, or you have an inventory based e-commerce store, if you're selling handmade goods, if you're selling digital products, and so much more. You guys have been requesting an updated tutorial for this and I got you guys. I found a special Shopify promotion where you can start your Shopify online store for only $1. I linked that down in the top of the description box so make sure you use that link when creating your store today. So let's get right into today's tutorial and make sure you use the link down in my description box below so you can get this promotion. Then just enter in your email address and click start free trial. It's gonna first just ask you to answer some of these questions, but you can just click skip all or just go through the questions. They really don't matter much. Then just click your country and click next. Then just finish the sign up process and it will bring you to this page. And right here is the Shopify dashboard. Okay, so let's move along here. Now let's get to the fun part, customizing it to make it look beautiful. So go back to your Shopify main page here, come over here and click online store and then just click themes. You will see here, Shopify shows you free themes that you can use and the free themes are honestly awesome. You definitely don't have to use a paid one. There's no reason to do that. So just look through them and add the one that you want on your store just by clicking add. For this video, I'm just gonna go with this free theme that I actually have used before, which is sense. So just click on add and then it will install this theme right into your store. Now just click publish and click publish again. Now when you're here, just click on customize. And now let's go ahead and just play around with this. Click on this icon and then click colors, then click add scheme. And here you can play around with the colors just to see what looks good with your products and the vibe of your online store. Since we're making this more of a luxury store, I'm sticking more with black and white for a more classic look. I would say for most stores, it's really nice to have white, black, and then a nice accent color or like some sort of gradient color. You can see here that they have so many different things you can customize. So it's really a matter of just going through each one and just playing around with this and having fun with it until you find what you love the most. Also, don't take too much time on this and don't worry about it too much. I don't want you guys spending hours and hours obsessing over your online store. Just remember, it needs to look simple, clean, and professional. So now let's build up the rest of the pages. So you guys see here are these different pages. We're gonna add a page here and I'll show you how to do that. So if you wanted to add an about me section or if you wanted to add a terms and conditions page, this is how you would do it. You go back to the main Shopify page under online store and then click pages. It will bring you to this page. And one thing that's very important is to add a shipping policies page. This is where you can put your terms about shipping. That way, when a customer places an order, if they happen to complain or ask you, you can always say that the shipping terms and conditions were on your page. And by ordering with us, you agreed to those terms. So up here, just click on add page and type here at the top, shipping policy. Now, if you need help writing these pages, just go to chat GPT and just ask chat GPT, create me a shipping policy page for my online store and click this. 
Then you can literally just copy and paste this in, change up anything that you need to change and hit save. I love how it's formatted for you already too. Now just come down here to the navigation where it says main menu, click add menu item, and then you can add in your page here. Then just click save. Now you can see on our online store, we now have a shipping policy page, which just makes our store look so much more legitimate and trustworthy. And like I said, you can put your terms and conditions here also as well. As you're customizing things, just remember to keep your online store as simple as possible for customers to buy. I actually like to keep my product section close to the top of the homepage as possible so people don't have to scroll too much or jump through too many hoops to buy my products. Now I'm gonna show you how you can add products to your online store. So on your Shopify dashboard to the left, you'll see the products tab. Just click on that first. It'll then bring you to this page. If you don't have a product yet or you don't know what to sell, Go watch my YouTube channel because I will help you find the right online business model for you and the right products to start selling for you. Then once you have your product, just click on add product. The first thing I always do is I just add the picture. So let's just click upload. So now our product photo is uploaded and now we're gonna just fill out the title and the description of the product. They actually have this little button here that says generate text. You can click on this and it will help you build your own description. So just type in your features and keywords. Our luxury rose bear is the best gift. Then just click on generate. If you like it, then you can use it by just clicking keep and it will export it here. I always like to just bold in any words that are important to what we're talking about. I also like to just space out what we're doing here as well. Then just scroll down and here's where you're gonna put the price of your product. So you'll just add in your price here. This right here is cost per item, which is how much it costs you to produce it or have it. So I'm just gonna put $5 for the purpose of this video. Now it's gonna show you what your actual profit is and what your profit margins are. This is more of just for you. You can also track quantity if you're an inventory-based e-commerce store with this button here. I always just guesstimate my product weights. I don't go too crazy about weighing them or anything like that because again, this is just for shipping and for your own reference. Then if you want to add variants of different sizes of your products and colors, that's where you will add it here. So for example, we would do red, purple, green, or whatever you want, you can add here. Then when you're done, you can then just click save. Now you can see here on this page, you now have your product here. You can always go back in and edit it and change things around. And if you want to add more products, you just click this add product button here. Also, another important thing not to forget is go over here to this tab finances. Here, you're going to set up your payment options. And this is how you're gonna receive the money from your customer, so don't forget this part. Then, in order to keep this store and publish it to make it go live, you do need to choose a plan for your store. So just click plan here, and they do have a few different options here. But as a beginner, just do the cheapest one. Now you'll enter in your credit card information here, hit continue, and now you can go live with this online store. Now I'm gonna show you how to get a custom domain for your online store. Now, as you guys can see, Shopify does give you a free domain that you can use so you can start promoting this store right away but once you are sure about the name for your business and you know you want to keep this store long term and looking more professional getting a custom domain is what you need to do next for example rihanna has rihanna.store for her merch store Shopify uses shopify.com and Behance is behance.net. Now, do you notice the endings of these links? That part that's like .com, .store, .net is the domain name. It sets each one of these websites apart. I am personally creating all of my online stores with the .store domain because I feel like it just makes the most sense from the customer's perspective. And I noticed even Mr. Beast, Cristiano Ronaldo, and a million other people are doing the same thing. So if you're in the online store game, it also makes your store a lot more easier to actually find. And this also means that websites that end in .store get two times the visibility on Google. Just by using a .store domain, it gives you access to discounts up to $2,500 on even more e-commerce tools like Wix, ShipStation, Vistaprint, MailChimp, and so many more. And you can buy a .store domain from pretty much anywhere, but I actually did find a promotion for you guys. And for a limited time, you can get your dot .store domain for only 99 cents for the first year. I put this link in the description box below and you can use the code IsabellaStore when checking out. 
So let me show you how to actually get this domain and connect it to your online store. So after you click the link in my description, it will bring you to this page. Then just search for the custom domain you wanna get. Then it's gonna bring you to this page and show you all the different options for what you searched for. And don't worry, I know this shows a higher price here, but just remember I have that code for you guys. So we're gonna apply that towards the end. So just pick the one that you like and then click add to cart. I always like my domains as short as possible as well. Then just go ahead and click proceed. Then where the coupon code goes in, just type in Isabella store. And as you guys can see, you now have any domain that you want for 99 cents. Now you can just go down and click place order. And if you don't already have an account, you can just make one super quick here. And then when you're done, just click pay online. So now we have officially claimed and purchased our own domain. Now I'm gonna show you how to connect this domain to your online store. So to connect this domain, you're gonna click on settings here on the bottom left. You will click this right here called domains and this is the domain tab. Click connect existing domain. Then you're gonna put in the same domain you bought on dot store. Then just click next. Then it's actually gonna pull up this list of instructions right here that actually shows you every single step laid out. So if it helps you to read as you're following along, this is all there if you get stuck. But don't worry, I'm showing you step-by-step -step right now anyways. So next, go back to the dot store domains website, scroll over manage orders, click list slash search orders, then just click on your domain. Then once you're here, scroll to the bottom and click manage DNS. So once you're here, it'll probably say no address records found and that's what you're gonna see here. You're gonna use the A records tab and C name records tab to connect the domain. So you're gonna start here on this tab and click add a record. Then you're gonna add the Shopify IP address, which I'm going to put big on the screen here for you guys in case you need to refer back to this. Then once you're done, just click on add record. So for the C name, I need you to copy the free domain that Shopify gave you. So go to the C name records tab and click add C name record. Then you're going to paste that here. Make sure you put www dot here. Then we're gonna add a second C name record. So again, put www dot here and put shops dot my Shopify dot com here. Then just click add record. So now go back to the Shopify's page and click verify connection. It can take up to 48 hours to connect, but if you see this, it's a good sign. If you get stuck, again, you can refer back to that Shopify step-by-step -step guide thing, or you can always reach out to any customer support for free help. Congratulations, we made it through and you now have your online store built and ready to go. I also got involved in creating this AI builder that builds your store for you. So if you rather use this AI builder to build the store for you, I also put that in the description box down below and that AI bot builds your store for you completely free. Now that you have your online store, now you have to focus on marketing, promoting, and getting the sales. My YouTube channel is your number one source for 100% free education and courses, especially when it comes to marketing. A lot of people that are out here making tutorials, they really don't know how to actually market their online businesses. And a lot of people will just tell you to buy ads or, or just pay to optimize your store with SEO. And I just disagree with all of that. I share all of my personal strategies on my YouTube channel that took my businesses from nothing to earning over six figures in less than a year. So don't let your education stop here. Go to my YouTube channel and keep on learning. If you're someone that you're still trying to figure out what product you wanna sell, my YouTube channel has tons of videos about that as well. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to create free courses and videos just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next free course. Bye everyone.